Magandang umaga, gising na pamilya at Pilipinas. Today I want to talk about the difference between being righteous and being religious. What it means and the relevance that it should play in our lives. Let's turn our Bibles to Colossians chapter 3. I put before you that being righteous has a very important role in our lives, but also though religiousness and being religious may have a negative stigma or view at times, it also has a very relevant place in our lives. You see, to be righteous means to be right before our relationships. To be religious means to worship. And I know we all want to worship, but the question is, behind the scenes, when we're not worshiping, are we righteous? In Colossians chapter 3, it says, Since then... You have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. You know, right here, Paul very simply says that Christ is our life. That's what righteousness is all about. The word righteous means to fulfill the duty of a relationship. So to be righteous is not a one, one size fits all word. What it means for me to be righteous toward my wife is not the same as what it means for me to be righteous toward my daughter or those that I mentor and disciple in my church. I don't treat them all the same. Every relationship requires you to be what is necessary. And we live in a time where people fixate on, well, this is how I think you need to treat me. And we're focused on how we want other people to be, which is not righteousness at all. When really we should be focused on who we should be. And that consequently can become the dynamic of religion, is that people are fixated on who they want God to be for them instead of who they should be for God. The Bible says that we die to our old lives and that Christ is our life. He is our everything. And when someone is just religious, it's awkward, it's weird. We've all met people that are just overly religious and it's almost like they don't have their own personality. That's not good either. But righteousness is when you take a stand, that you have your own personality, you have your own likes and dislikes, but you take a stand for what is right in the eyes of God. You're relatable. You're all things to all men. I think about for myself, before I became a real Christian, I used to go to church. I grew up going to church. And yet, I remember for about a year and a half's time, I would go to church every single Sunday, and I was one of the first high schoolers to be there. I would get to church around 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'd read my Bible, and then the church wouldn't even start till 10 o'clock. But I remember... On Sundays, I would pray Jesus into my heart every single Sunday, and I would sing the songs with all my heart, and I would sing along instead of most people who usually just sit there and listen. I would sing along. I would try to talk with different people. All the while, I was doing drugs. I was in a sexually immoral relationship. I was looking at uh, pornography. I was living exactly like the world. If you would have followed me around, with a camera, who I was on Sunday when I was a glory to the Lamb. That's not who I was Monday through Saturday. That's not righteousness. That's religiosity. And maybe that's you. Maybe when you look at who you are on Sunday, it's not the same person on Monday through Saturday. There's nothing wrong with you, but you've got to understand that that's not what Paul is talking about in Colossians 3 when he says that you need to set your mind on things above. Not on Sunday, but on Monday through Saturday too, that it needs to be who you are. Christ is your life. I don't know about you, but I live my life Monday through Saturday and Sunday. As you live your life, you've got to set your mind on things above, and you've got to live your life as if Jesus were with you because guess what? He is. He's watching how you think and how you behave. This is true righteousness. And you may be righteous in 9 out of 10 relationships. You've got to be righteous in 10 out of 10 relationships. You've got to strive to be the best that you can be. My challenge to you is not just to be religious, 
but to be defined by your righteousness so that when people see your righteousness, they're going to want to participate in your religion, which is your worship to God. Have a great day. Let's review the statements. Number one, forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. Today, you may be reflecting on that, but do you reflect on them out of tradition or out of transformation? Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying The Daily Dose. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I want to ask you a favor. If you're interested at all in a personal Bible study, message me. If you want to come to a virtual Bible discussion, I can help you find one in an area near you. If you have any prayer requests, please message me. If you're interested in any of those things, I would love to help you strengthen your relationship with God.